All right, YouTube fam. It is Saturday, January 17th, 2015. It is currently 11 a.m. and we are on our way to jump out of an airport. We're going skydiving today. Pretty excited about it, going out to Lake Elsinore to jump. Um, our thing scheduled at one, so we should be done around like three or four. It's like a four hour, three hour thing. So we'll be done around like four and then we're gonna drive home and hit arms later tonight. Last night we went and saw American Sniper and man, that was a crazy movie. It was so good. Stop. Why don't you like to talk to them? I don't know. What do you like? She gets, locks up right when she gets in front of a camera. She just. <laughs> Alright guys, so we're on our way. We're gonna be on the road for about an hour and a half and then we'll check in with you guys when we get there. I don't know where all you guys are at, but here, gas is $2.19 a gallon, and that is a pretty big deal. That is like the cheapest it has been since NOM. <laughs> it is, that is ridiculously cheap. Yesterday, I filled up my tank in my, my uh, Civic, and I was like, I had the low fuel light flashing, and it cost me $23.60 to fill up my entire tank. And that is just, that's awesome. All right, guys, we just arrived here at Elsinore Skydive, and I don't think they're gonna let me, well, they said they're not gonna let me take my camera in there. So uh, this is gonna be where we let you guys off until we're done. So hopefully I will come back to film for you guys and we won't die. We're gonna skydive and then they, we paid to get the video done too, so I'm gonna put that on this video right after this clip. So see you guys afterwards. Here we are, I got some nice skies. When we got this guy here, we're in some weird looking getup, man. What's your name, dude? Yo, I'm Nick. How you doing, Nick? What are you doing here today at Skydive Elsinore? Jumping out of the plane. Hell yeah, dude. How long have you been thinking about doing this for? About a year. Yeah? Yeah. We decided to do it. Nice well, day. It's perfect a perfect day. day for it, man. Hell yeah. Well, uh, this is going to be a lot of fun up there. Is there anything you want to say to everyone back home who couldn't make it? Well, since I'm wearing the Gymshark stuff, i got to challenge my limits. So this is what I'm going to do. Hell yeah, yeah, man. You said it. Let's have some fun up there, buddy. Woo! All of it. Yeah. Jumping. Will you do it again? Always. I'll be back next week. Well, make sure you give Bundy a big thank you. And dude, thanks for coming to Scott Ivelson. We'll see you next time, us. all right? 
Yeah, buddy. Woo. Thanks, brother. Thanks, brother. In the car, getting some food before, before we go get our videos and pictures. They're uploading right now, so it takes about 10, or 15 to 20 minutes. So we're eating in the car, just ate sandwiches. Guys, that was the coolest experience I've ever had in my entire life. Just, I, didn't, I thought I was gonna be really scared when I got up to the top, but I wasn't scared at all. I was so ready to jump, and just free falling was the coolest thing ever. It was freaking awesome. Guys, if you can't see how much this truck is smoking right now from his tires, probably not safe to be on the road. Getting that pre-workout in right now. We're almost at the gym. We have about 15 minutes to go. I feel like this entire, like 90% <laughs> of this video that I'm gonna upload for you guys is literally me in the car. <laughs> I've recorded everything in the car except for the clip that I, you guys would have just seen me put in the clip of us uh, skydiving. So, my next clip, I promise we will be at the gym lifting some heavy stuff. Arm day today, buys and tries, forearms, gonna break out those fat grips for a little bit. And then tonight, we are making steak, mashed sweet potatoes, and asparagus for dinner. So, we'll see you guys at the gym when we get there. What's going on YouTube? Back in the commentary for you all. Today we hit a high volume arm day. This is about, I think, either my fourth or fifth tricep movement for the workout. We did close grip bench press, one set of 10, three sets of five, one set of 12. And I know it might look like my butt is completely coming off that bench when I am pushing it, but I promise you my butt is really just that big. <laughs> uh, yeah, so. Bree, Bree had never tried this before, so we tried it for the first time. So she kind of grinded out some reps a little heavy, um, just to get, get the kind of get used to doing that movement. Because like I said, she's never done it before. Um, I'm actually commentating this for you guys. Uh, the 18th instead of the 17th. It's 9:30 in the morning, and my back from skydiving. I must have pulled something when that shoot opened up because my back is ridiculously tweaked out. It hurts so bad. So I'm probably gonna try to. Um, get a deep tissue massage sometime during this week just to kind of get those kinks out But skydiving was probably the best experience of my entire life There was like there's like right when you jump out of the plane There's like three to four seconds where you literally just feel like you're floating before the wind before, before you really start picking up speed towards the ground um, Going back to the workout here instead of my last set of close grip bench for 12 I decided to switch to a reverse grip bench for a set of 12 just to get a different squeeze on those triceps. I like both of them, but I don't like to do them both in the same in the same workout. I'll pick. I'll usually pick one or the other. Um, moving on, trying to get some form activation here. We did threw on the fat grips here. I think these are the 30 or 35 pound dumbbells. So the rep scheme here was four sets of 10. We did dumbbell skull crushers and then stood up and went right into dumbbell hammer curls at the same time, not not alternating. So. I feel like I get more of a squeeze out of my biceps when I do the dumbbell curls at the same time rather than alternating. There's pros and cons for each, but in this workout, I just wanted to do them both at the same time. And um, like I've said before, every time at the bottom of my curls, I am flexing my triceps at the bottom to make sure I get that full stretch in the bicep. Or, I'm sorry, I'm flexing my triceps at the bottom so I get that full um, stretch in my biceps before I do each rep. And then I'm squeezing at the top nice and hard. Um, so this workout, we're trying to go heavy on some and some are for reps. So here you can see me going full stack. I tried to hit six reps here. I did hit six reps, but um, in my opinion, they're a little too grind, grindy for my taste. So next week, I'm going to try to go back and, and hit them a little bit cleaner for a set of six. But here we did 12, 10, 8, 6 on the V-bar push down, and then we supersetted with 10 deep, deep uh, dumbbell preacher curls on each arm. Uh, here I have a 30-pound dumbbell for all four sets of 10, and leaning forward like that, 
works is going to work the peak of your bicep, making it higher when you when you flex it. So that was just kind of the rundown of the workout that we did today, guys. Um, here we finished off with four sets of ten French press, right into we call them bench curls. So we're just sitting on the bench, palms up, and curling the dumbbells for a set of ten. So. That's going to go ahead and conclude this video, guys. So I want to thank you so much for watching. So make sure you follow me on all your social medias, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And if you guys like these videos, make sure to like them and subscribe to my channel because it's really going to help me grow and get my name out there. And for online personal training, go ahead and click the link to my website in the description box below. That's where all my social media and everything else is too. And if you guys haven't liked it, my um, Instagram picture of us skydiving, go check it out because, again, it was the coolest thing ever. So again, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time.